Hey, this is Cue Ball from X Factor One, and you're watching Gross Magazine Rock. This is Emily with Gross Magazine here with Cue Ball from X Factor One. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Better yeah, now that I'm here. You're looking good too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so I've seen some of your shows live. What can you tell your fans about tonight's show? Should I have brought an extra pair of panties? Yeah, absolutely. You can throw them at me. Um, we're on a uh, tour run with Straight Line Stitch right now this week, and uh, this is the Edge of Insanity tour. Um, this is our first run with Straight Line, so uh, we're kind of just breaking the ice with them guys. But we were in uh, Kokomo, Indiana last night. It was an amazing show. And, uh, you know, we're going to set it off like we do every time. You know, we got the four Ps going on. we got a power and precision performance going on, and that's what we do. And uh, we're going to play all metal because this is a metal run with Straight Line Stitch. So it's uh, going to kind of going back to our roots a little bit with, with this run. So should be good. Should be a good time. Your video, The Stroke, just came out a few weeks ago. What all went into the filming that video? Well, we... They shot that at a place uh, called Screaming Willie's um, over on the east side, which is kind of our hometown, uh, bigger venue show place. And, uh, you know, it was crazy time because um, we went in there and we had uh, a lot of models and stuff set up and only one of them showed up the day of the show. So, you know, we thought we had a catastrophe on our hand and, um, you know, we called up all of our friends and all of our cute girls like uh, yourself <laughs> and uh, they actually responded and came in and, and you know put the hoochie clothes on and uh, came in for the for the shoot so they kind of salvaged it and, and saved the show for us and uh, you know uh, and the end result we thought came out amazing for uh, all the circumstances that were going on there at the time it was we, we didn't know if he was going to be able to pull it off but uh, you know people can see for themselves it looked uh, looks good turned out great you recently added a new drummer back in October, Zach Reeder. How has that affected your fan base and your music? Well, that hasn't affected the fan base because, um, you know, it's always about the music with us. You know, uh, there's, you know, no one in this band's any bigger or smaller than the next person. So, um, you know, really what it did was give us the ability to keep moving forward because uh, that's what this band's always about. It's about progress. It's about moving forward. It's about understanding that, you know, uh, n none of us are bigger than than the whole and uh, when you know people start to feel that way, or people start to get high maintenance, or bu uh, bitchy, uh, or, or just you know whiny about touring a lot, then you know we have to give them you know the the ultimatum, and if they can't you know make that you know uh, uh, that responsible choice and, and say that they're going to commit to us you know long term, then you know we just move on to the next person, you know, and we'll find somebody every time. Yeah, better off. Well, if it's that's the way it is, that's the way it is. I mean, this this music business is very hard on you uh, at, at our level. There's not much glory in it. You know, you know, get a good buzz, uh, do some drinking, hopefully meet somebody to take you home. And uh, you know, at this level, uh, you know, when you're talking about there not being tour buses and and, and you know fat paychecks, um, you know, guys who aren't really willing, ready and willing to make that sacrifice, you know, they don't last long in this business and they go back to what they do best, and that's weekend warrior and 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 their in their hometown glory thing playing someone else the songs and that's what usually happens to a lot of guys in this business um over and over again i see it and you know we've had probably 20 different uh, members in our band and you know it's not because you know we're uh, hard to get along with or it's because someone's uh you know a, a dick or anything in this band it's because other people were weak and uh you know it's never about x factor one it's about the x members and their choices so we don't we don't uh you know listen to the stuff about you know somebody quit because uh, I'm a hard ass or because this guy's demanding or because this dude drinks too much or this that or that or the other it's usually about that person's issues and only the band knows that but we don't air them because you know we're trying to be professional so I want to get that part in there we're cool the ex members are not famous last words came out in June of last year do you have any plans for 2013 <laughs> Um, well, not really. Um, we're going to be doing some um, short runs um, in, uh, in February, March. Uh, we're you know trying to lay low in the winter time because it's uh, the the cold uh, you know doesn't isn't conducive to people coming out to the shows a lot to tell you the truth. So uh, we you know usually just do you know, small runs uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays in, in the cold weather months. But uh, we're hoping to find some relevant tours and we got some things cooking with some of our bigger sponsors right now. That if it works out, that uh, it'll be you know some of the biggest uh, accomplishments of our career. So I'm got my fingers crossed and. Uh, you know, just really hoping that some, some things that, that are in, in the uh, bubbler are going to, you know, work out for us right now because it would be a, a big, big move and a push for us. So I'm hoping for that. <laughs>
gonorrhea or herpes? Uh, I think you can get. I think you can get rid of gonorrhea. So I'll, I would take the gonorrhea. <laughs> I think you can do some shots or something. Herpes are forever, like bad luggage. Marijuana or alcohol? Both. Whiskey dick or Jaeger dick? Jaeger. It's my sponsor, and, um, you know, they treat us so great. If you're drinking it cold, it's the best in the world. And I, I kind of look at it as a time machine. Uh, you know, I, uh, I fast forward seven, eight hours, and I wake up, and what happened? And I knew that I was awake, the, you know, for part of that time. So I call it a time machine. Boxers or briefs? Boxer briefs. What's the grossest thing that you've ever experienced? Grossest thing that I've ever experienced? Wow, that's a weird question. Um, I We were on tour with Flaw, and um, the um, our guitarist, CeeLo, uh, really hit it off with Lance, which is their lead guitarist. And um, I don't know if it's the Dreads or whatever, but they were actually, you know, uh, in a wing eating contest uh, in Battle Creek, Michigan, where they were like, like, chewing the food up and like dropping it into each other's mouth like birds do <laughs> yeah oh, man that was insane that, that's probably one of the grossest things i've ever seen um i also seen a guy ring out uh, a, a, a girl's underwear and drink it one time um from um her being um sweaty and stuff like that so that was insane too i, I don't know if i could do that either yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 